My name is Dr Abigail Langton from the University of Manchester and I was the lead scientist on the study identifying how the organisation of the dermal matrix impacts on the biomechanical properties of the skin. We did this study because we wanted to determine the biomechanical properties of healthy young skin at different anatomical sites. What was particularly novel about our approach was that we looked at skin from both white Caucasian and black African volunteers and that in a subset of these volunteers we also took skin biopsies from each of the test sites. This allowed us to explore how the underlying histological features of the skin impact on its biomechanical function. We recruited 18 African and 20 Caucasian young individuals to the study and used two different non-invasive devices on their sun-protected buttock and on their photo-exposed forearm. The first device we used was the cutometer. This is a device that applies a three-second suction to the skin, followed by a three-second relaxation for 10 cycles. The resistance of the skin to the suction and its ability to return to its original position are displayed as curves for analysis. The second device we used was the ballastometer. This device consists of a small hammer that strikes the skin's surface and produces a rebound pattern for analysis. What we found was that at the buttock site, the biomechanical properties of the two cohorts were similar, in that the skin could be deformed to the same extent, it could return to its original position following deformation, and that it didn't display any signs of fatigue following repeated measurement. However, when we looked at the forearm skin, differences between the two cohorts started to emerge. Whilst the biomechanical properties of the African forearm were similar to those found in the buttock skin, the Caucasian forearm could not be deformed to the same extent, and there was a significant decline in elasticity, and the skin was showing signs of fatigue. When we looked at the underlying histology, we found that Caucasian and African buttock and African forearm were largely similar in terms of how convoluted the dermal-epidermal junction was, and the architecture of the elastic fibre network of proteins had a distinctive candelabra-like arrangement within the dermis. This was in contrast to the histology of the Caucasian forearm. Here we found that the dermal-epidermal junction was flattened, there was a loss of the candelabra-like arrangement of the elastic fibres, and there was an accumulation of disorganised elastotic material in the dermis. It was clear that although the Caucasian forearm had no overt clinical signs of photo damage, dramatic disruption to this highly organised arrangement of elastic fibres and defacement of the rete ridges was associated with a significant decline in skin's biomechanical function. An appreciation of skin biomechanics is important for our understanding of its normal functions. Numerous comparative studies have been undertaken to characterise these properties in both disease and ageing. However, in order to understand the consequences of both ageing and disease, it is essential to first appreciate the biomechanical properties of young, healthy skin. The techniques used in this study have further research applications for the examination of both the clinical progression of skin ageing and the development of effective treatment options for improving skin laxity.